So with the paint stripped off those edges, I'm just going to rub over those edges with a bit of 220 to give it a bit of tooth. And those surfaces, I want to wipe them very, very clean indeed. So I'm going to get some solvent. Right, with all of that sanded to my satisfaction, with, with didn't need much sanding at all. I'm just rubbing this down with some CRC Electra Clean, which is a fairly aggressive solvent to remove any traces of grease or anything on there that would prevent paint from sticking. I'm happy with that and I can mask off the areas I don't want painted. So that's the next thing to do. I we'll only want the edges of the door done so I can run some tape around there and around there. That's okay. Now the ends, I don't want any going over the over the catch there, so the back catch. So I need to make sure that that's masked off fairly well. Run another bit across there because that tore off on the this just fairly light tack this tape because it strips off easily without ripping paint with it. That looks good. I need to cover this little piece of hinge at this end. That will probably do. And I don't need any paint on the inside edges at all, so I'm just going to more roughly mask off this inside edge.
Well, that looks like it to me. So down for painting. So the first thing I've got to do is prime this. I've got some etch primer here. And that's what I'm going to use first. So first job, rattle this about for a couple of minutes to make sure the paint's fully mixed. Okay, so first off, my etch primer. That's staying clear. Put a very, very light coat on to start off with. Tap coat. And the same again. I'll let that dry off for a few for a minute or so and then I'm going to spray it again get a decent coat of primer on there. Alright well that'll probably do. Now let's get a decent coat on here. Just making sure I've got good cover. This is just the primer. Leave that to cure for a few minutes and uh, then I can top coat it. To hurry up the process of that primer curing I'm going to put this in this toaster oven. And just give it 10 minutes. That'll be fully cured by then. That's running at about 65 degrees centigrade. Right, well with the primer coat done, I can now put my top coat on. And it's much the same deal. This time I'm using Duplicolor Auto Spray Black. Just want to put a light coat on. Leave that to tack off for a minute or so and then put a decent coat on. Right, that should have tapped off nicely. I'll just shake this pan a minute and that'll do. Now get a good coat on here. That should be fine. I was looking at the state of that, that's leveled out nicely. And I don't think that's going to need a second coat. So as soon as that's had a minute or so to settle, I'll move that to the bake oven. That can cure in there now for the uh, about 45 minutes will be probably be sufficient. It's at about 65, 70 degrees centigrade, and after that, that paint should be hard. It should be very, very good. Well, it's back. That's not perfect. That paint, but it's pretty good. Let's see if I can get the leather onto it now. Now I want to put a few spots where these size bumps were, make a note of where the big ones were. So here and here were the main, main offenders and here and there. So I just want to put a bit of glue there and there 
so that I can get this leather to stick down flat because it's it's going to be reluctant because of the amount of uh, bulge we've got there. Okay, put that bit under there. Let's get some adhesive on here. Don't take special note to get plenty where those bumps are and then just a normal spread everywhere else. You can see it, it soaks into the leather pretty promptly. Now I've got probably too much adhesive on that leather. I'll have to take the excess off. I don't really want adhesive squeezing out at the edges. Now to get this on. It's always a bit entertaining. You can see those bumps just do not want to lie flat. Press them down, see if they'll stay. Well that's pretty good. Rub down that edge. Right, well, I'm happy with that. I'll get that back on the camera and uh, then I'll put some polish in that leather and I'll call that one done after that, I think. I'll just give a quick wipe of some synthetic grease onto the hinge pin in the hope that that'll make it fit in a bit quicker and easier. Drive that in from the bottom. Where's my hammer? That's good. I'll just need a punch to uh, send it home that last little bit. I should have something here I can use for that purpose. Now 
There we go. So a bit of polish on there then. First I'll just remove a little bit of glue squeeze out there. And rub some polish into that. So, there we have it, the Heirloom Retina 2A, all good, all working, all pretty, and all ready to go back home. Thanks for watching.